So when we talk about polypeptide synthesis, then we have two major stages. So it's transcriptions and translation. But before we go into transcription and translations in detail, then we're going to look at this very, very important part here, where though we are involving prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cells. Okay, so now we try to, I mean, I didn't put it inside these notes, but we're going to write it down to compare between these two, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Then only we go into the process, eh, the detailed process. Okay, so now we look at the paraphernalysis, transcription and translation. So we'll look at the prokaryotic cells first. Okay. When you look at the prokaryotic cells, and you have to understand that for prokaryotic cells, that draw out the prokaryotic cells, the cell wall, their DNA actually lies in the circular DNA, okay, actually inside the cytoplasm. Can you see that? Their circular DNA. So, what they're going to do here, very simple for prokaryotic cell. First, they're going to carry out transcription. After transcriptions, then they're going to form, okay. Uh, so from the gene, so transcription, it gets the mRNA. So this MRA already matured mRNA. So this MRA can straight away be used for translation. So they got polypeptide. Okay, so this thing happened, translation take place in 70S ribosome. So very clear and quick process from the gene, transcription actually take place, they get an mRNA, and then this mRNA was translated to form the poly. Okay, for transcription. So now, next, how about eukaryotic cell? For eukaryotic cells, then different because eukaryotic cells, we can see that in terms of their polypeptide synthesis, first, same thing, they have a gene. So this gene will undergo transcription. But they don't first straight away form the mRNA. So they form what we call the pre-RNA. Okay, pre-mRNA. Okay, so this pre-mRNA, I mean, needs to go through another process called post-transcriptional modification. Okay, then from here, they only get the matured mRNA. But this mature mRNA sometimes we also call it as an mRNA, yeah? understood, okay? The mature mRNA, then this mRNA have to move out from nucleus. Then reach, go to the cytoplasm. So ATS ribosome. and then translation process only take place. So translation process take place, then you're going to get polypeptide. So today we're going to look at these two processes, okay, including for the prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells, okay? Let's start recording a while.